Hi everyone, I am Gautam and I am physics faculty. Now I am going to discuss about speed and velocity in the topic motion in a straight line. In my last video, I discussed about distance and displacement and I named it as part 1. Now in part 2, I am going to discuss about speed and velocity. First, speed. Speed is nothing but distance by time. Speed is nothing but distance by time for formula sake. We can define it as the distance traveled per unit time is called as speed. Distance traveled per unit time. How much distance it is traveling in one particular time that is called as speed. Now speed SI unit. SI unit means what we can write? Meter per second. How you wrote meter per second? Distance units meter. Time units seconds. So I wrote it as meter per second. And CGS unit. CGS unit. Distance centimeter. Time seconds. So centimeter per second. Now what type of quantity? Distance is a scalar quantity. Time is a scalar quantity. Then we can say speed is also scalar quantity. Scalar, distance scalar, time scalar. Then obviously speed also must be scalar. The scalar and vector everything will be having this information. The next chapter also motion in a plane. In very detail about vector knowledge. Now coming to speed means this is the formula and these are the units and the quantity is scalar. Then we have to discuss about velocity. Velocity is nothing but it is connected to displacement. Displacement that is DIS. Displacement I am writing here. So velocity is displacement by time. That means the displacement traveled per unit time is called as velocity. Now displacement by time. Displacement also have same units as distance. So here there is no change in units for speed and velocity. But what is going to change? Vector quantity. Why vector quantity? Because displacement is vector. Vector by scalar is again vector quantity. So I am writing this uh, velocity as vector quantity. So we discussed about speed and velocity. Now we are going to discuss about uh, uniform speed and uniform velocity. Uniform speed, we can also call it as constant speed. That means the body is traveling every particular time same distance that means uh, in uh, two seconds it is traveling four meter in next two seconds also it is traveling four meter in next two seconds also it is traveling four meter that means the body is traveling equal distances equal distances in equal intervals of time equal intervals of time then we call the body is traveling with uniform speed or constant speed. Like that we can frame. The next one is about uniform velocity. Uniform velocity. I think you know what change you have to make. In uniform speed, what change we have to do? We have to speed to velocity means their distance in speed. Displacement means we have to replace the distance with the displacement. So, what do you mean by uniform velocity? If a body travels equal displacements, equal displacements in equal intervals of time. That means every time, every particular interval of time, it is traveling with same displacement. Then we can call it as uniform velocity. I think you understood the difference between uniform speed and uniform velocity. Nothing. There we use a equal distances. Here we use equal displacements. Then let us discuss about average speed. 
average speed average speed now what is this average speed average speed is nothing but average speed is nothing but total distance traveled total distance traveled by total time taken total distance traveled by total time taken for the journey is called average speed i'll explain with one example you observe here from a to a a to b it traveled 3 meters and b to c it traveled 4 meters a to b 3 meters b to c 4 meters for 3 meters to travel it took 3 seconds time for 4 meters to travel it took 4 seconds so what is the total journey time from year to year 3 from year to year 4 what is the total journey distance that is 3 meters plus 4 meter so average speed means now what should I write total means distance total distance 3 plus 4 total time 3 plus 4 so 7 by 7 cancel and I can write average speed as 1 meter per second 1 meter per second this one basic example so nothing total distance traveled during journey by total time of journey so this called as what average speed now I know that you can answer what is average velocity I know you what to change here means average velocity is total displacement by total displacement by total time you know that distance is uh, replaced by displacement means speed will be replaced with velocity so total displacement by total time but now we will observe how to handle the problems so here you observe here from here to here 3 meters distance from here to here 4 meters distance then what is the displacement displacement means shortest path from initial point to final point so 3 meters 4 meters means shortest path we can write 3 square plus 4 square from Pythagoras theorem it is right angle so I can get here it as 5 meters from your school maths from Pythagoras theorem you know it is 5 meters that is the straight path straight line displacement means shortest path shortest path means straight line so square root of 3 square plus 4 square is 5 meters now what is average velocity means what we will say total displacement displacement means not now we must not take 3 plus 4 total distance that is total displacement straight line that is 5 what is the time total journey time total journey time is first 3 seconds then 4 seconds so 3 plus 4 5 by 7 units meter per second like that we can handle the average speed and average velocity now we'll observe the relation between average speed and average velocity whenever a body is traveling in straight line path if you are traveling in straight line path what we can say here straight line is going no difference between distance and displacement in straight line from our previous class we know that distance and displacement are equal so in straight line path distance and displacement equal means directly now i am writing average speed and average velocity are also equal average speed is equal to average velocity because distance and displacement are same in straight line path in curved path in curved path from our last class what we understood is yeah, that is distance is greater than displacement so here we can write average speed is greater than average velocity greater than average velocity so from these two conclusions i can final conclusion i can give it as average speed is greater than or equal to average velocity this is my final conclusion from the about two conclusions that is about uh, the average speed and average velocity relation now 
so you can remember this one average speed is greater than or equal to average velocity in previous class the distance is greater than or equal to displacement now we will see some applications based on average speed and average velocity so the first basic application which we everyone knows that is a travel in a straight line first distance s1 in a time t1 next distance s2 in a time t2 it travel like that now what is average speed average speed means total distance by total time so simply s1 plus s2 by t1 plus t2 no complication at all because average speed total distance by total time total distance s1 plus s2 total time t1 plus t2 directly i wrote that one no complication at all but if they didn't give in this way they have told instead of t1 if they told it is traveling with uniform speed v1 it traveled as one distance and uniform speed v2 in a distance of s2 then what is the formula means they didn't provide actual formula is s1 plus s2 by you are telling t1 plus t2 did they mention times no in the question times are not there Times are not there. Replace the time with the distance and speed. So time is equal to distance by uniform speed. So t2 I can write it as s2 by v2. So as times are not mentioned, simply eliminating times. S1 plus s2 by here t1 plus t2 means I can write s1 by v1 plus s2 by v2. This is my formula. Just I suddenly eliminated times and I substituted those two things here. Now, if at all they have given S1 and S2 both are equal, S1 is equal to S2 is equal to yes, the both the distances are equal. Just substitute in the place of S1 and S2. If you substitute yes, and if you simplify, you will get V average is equal to 2V1 V2 by v1 plus v2 just uh, by substituting this uh, in the place of s1 and s2 if you substitute yes you will get the final answer as 2v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 this is one application we will see one more application if they didn't provide distances they told in first time t1 it traveled with uniform speed v1 in next time t2 it traveled with uniform speed v2 now what you understood here they didn't provide distances in such case i can replace distance s1 as v1 into t1 s2 as v2 into t2 now i am replacing s1 and s2 with those terms that is s1 is nothing but v1 t1 plus v2 t2 by t1 plus t2 if i have written like that and uh, see uh, nothing in s1 s2 are not provided in previous one times are not provided now distances are not provided distance can be replaced with speed into time so s1 is v1 t1 s2 as v2 t2 i substituted in the formula and finally i got this one this is the formula if at all times are equal that is t1 and t2 both are equal now in previous i told distances are same now if times are equal t1 is equal to t2 is equal to t times are equal just substitute in the place of t1 and t2 t we will get the expression as v average as v1 plus v2 by 2 these are the basic applications what we discussed till now First, we have taken general formula S1 plus S2 by T1 plus T2. Second, we have replaced times and we wrote S1 by V1 and S2 by V2. Now here we replace distances. In the place of distance, I have written S1 as V1 T1, S2 as V2 T2. So these are the basic applications what I discussed now. There are so many applications, but first basic applications you have to learn thoroughly. In my next video, I will discuss about uh, the instantaneous speed, instantaneous velocity, acceleration and equations of motion. Thank you everyone.